come on, Soda Pop, let's go. So, go ahead, Chuck. Yeah, thanks. Um, I, uh, your presentation is very interesting. Uh, a couple of your comments, though, seem interesting. And they're somewhat like uh, people running for city council. Uh, they appear to me to be against our city mayor. And uh, so my, my question is this, um, same as I've asked them, the mayor has really had what I call three major accomplishments. He's had a lot of other accomplishments. He's had three major ones. He got the event center passed and built. He got the indoor swimming facility passed and it's almost built. And he's accomplished a negotiation uh, regarding the removal of most of the railroad tracks from downtown and it appears to be a If anybody here has ever negotiated anything with a railroad, that's probably the biggest accomplishment of the three. Which ones of those, both of you, which ones of those issues were you for and which ones were you against and why? First, I'll say the mayor's biggest accomplishment was becoming, getting elected out of being a nobody. Um, in other words, no one, knew who he wa no one knew who he was until he was running for office. And uh, his original plan was to run for governor, and then that, his friends told him not to do that, so he ran for mayor. So that was his first biggest accomplishment. Number two on the event center, the mayor did not get the event center passed. My good friend Tony Reese did. He ran the Build It Now campaign, and had a big chunk of money to work on, and he got a great get out the vote, as we showed. 11,000 of those people never showed up again. And as for the event center, I voted no on it. I felt that it was a gigantic waste of money. And it is proven that it is, it was built, I mean, it's got issues. And I saw this coming a long time ago. Anytime you take a building that should be, that should really be 175 to a $200 million building. And we, we reduce it down into a $100 million building. I knew there was gonna be problems. Um, I was against the pool. I felt when Sanford came out and offered to build us a pool, we should have took it right there. Um, bad location, really. I mean, it's a horrible location. Um, and what was the third one? The railroad. Yeah. Railroad. Uh, another project that is 10 acres of land. It's gonna benefit some developers. $27 million of ta federal taxpayer money. We are all federal taxpayers blown and the railroad tracks are still going to run through the same exact place that it hasn't it's not going to change rail traffic whatsoever yes it will how do you how is You're it wrong why and, you know this presentation is really all about that neither of you those three major accomplishments and let's just take the event center have you ever done anything like that do you have any qualifications to criticize our public works department our mayor or anybody else for building something as high quality as that and it's got a couple of construction problems couple minor couple problems <laughs> you know <who> <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah a couple of problems yeah why don't you walk up on the second floor and look at all the cracks in the floor this is a brand new facility we have holes in the siding like this you know water nothing. pouring in there you and, know nothing oh. Well, I, I'm glad you brought the mayor along to defend himself, too. We'll, we'll move on from this one in a moment, but, but way, I will. Just, just clarification. They never said one thing about any one of those. You're the one that raised the issue. That's they true. responded to your question, and then you became infuriated. But they didn't raise those issues. They have and, and, that's, they and Chuck, this is where I wanted to bring up. No, they, they were talking about voters and voter uh, and our voters. This, this, is, this is what I wanted to bring up in this. I'm talking about voting patterns, and I'm, and I'm bringing up information about voting. There's nothing, as Jim was just saying, that touches anything on attacking any candidate. We're not praising any particular candidate. We've never praised or criticized any one of these. What we were showing in this and what we are here today to talk about is about how Sioux Falls votes and what we can look forward to coming into Tuesday night. And I'm very proud of the work that, that we've been able to do here. So we're not criticizing anybody about anything. We're talking about politics. Y'all come back now, here.